now say he has a history of mental illness. This is surveillance video that shows the whole thing. Police say that Khalil Black was threatening people with a handgun. Investigators tell us at one point he walked up to a married couple, pointed the unloaded gun at their heads, and then pulled the trigger. He's accused of doing that again to a group of three people and yelling. Death ahead today. The 20 year old man involved in Friday's shooting in front of the Bellagio is expected in court. Police now say he has a history of mental illness. This is surveillance video that shows the whole thing. Police say that Khalil Black was threatening people with a handgun. Investigators tell us at one point he walked up to a married couple, pointed the unloaded gun at their heads, and then pulled the trigger. He's accused of doing that again to a group of three people and yelling, I'm going to kill everyone. When police arrived, he wouldn't drop the gun, so they opened fire and missed. One officer fired two shots, one grazing a child and another grazing a homeless man, but both are going to be just fine. 508. In front of the Bellagio is getting probation. As 13 Action News anchor Christopher King tells us, a judge is ordering Khalil Black to undergo psychiatric treatment and take his medication. Khalil Black originally was sentenced to four years behind bars. Today, a judge suspended that ruling. Khalil Black, wearing dark jail scrubs and handcuffs, says he's sorry. I'd like to apologize to the officers and everybody. And I'm on medication now. I'm doing a lot better. An attorney tells the judge Black is a man who is deeply psychologically disturbed. Mr. Black is uh, an individual that uh, sadly had no criminal history and went into uh, mental illness. Black is convicted of pointing an unloaded gun at tourists threatening to kill them. This surveillance video shows him wandering the strip in front of the Bellagio earlier this year. Police firing several shots, missing him but grazing a man and a four-year-old child. George Smith, the officer who opened fire, says Black could still be a danger. Because what if he was out of that day and decided not to take his medication again? Black was originally sentenced to four years behind bars. Today in court, the judge tells him his new sentence. I'm going to suspend that sentence because you're on probation. Black now has to enter a mental health court program, take his medications, and has a 5 p.m. curfew. Christopher King, 13 Action News. This just in, bail has been set at $2 million for the man accused of causing chaos on the Strip last week by waving a gun at tourists. Khalil Black was in court this morning, and it was a startling scene. Black had to be wheeled into court today. He was bound, he was gagged, and he was moaning the whole time. Over uh, with him uh, at some point. Earlier this month, police say they found Black in front of the Bellagio Fountains. They say he was waving a gun pointing it at tourists to take him in. They ended up firing several bullets, one of them hitting a child. Today, the judge said that bail would be set at $2 million. He also said Khalil was lucky to be alive. And he's sick in his brain right now, so I just don't want him to, people to look at him as a criminal because he's, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's a really nice guy. He just had a mental breakdown, man. Khalil's brothers were telling me they hope he gets help. At the Regional Justice Center, Parker Collins, Channel 13 Action News. Our top story tonight on Action News Live at 11. New developments happening right now in last night's officer-involved shooting on the Strip. Right now, police need your help to identify the suspect who they say was pointing a gun and a crowd in front of the Bellagio. Action News reporter David Schumann is live there with the latest information. David. Metro has just released a picture of the man they fired at least two shots at last night. Let's waste no time. Let's bring that picture up right away. The man you're looking at is only known as John Doe at the moment. Talk around here last night when this happened was that he was a regular street performer in front of the Bellagio Fountains. Police are asking anyone with any knowledge about who he is to call them. Metro says that John Doe was waving a gun and pointing it at people on the crowded sidewalk. Officers fired shots that grazed two pedestrians, including a child. Everyone was okay. Now, between this and last month's horrific crash, where a woman drove onto a crowded strip sidewalk, the locals who are out here night after night are starting to question Las Vegas Boulevard's safety. 
There's some cause for concern to have two uh, unfortunate events like that happen so close together in such a short time period. It's a bit worrisome. For the most part, things have gotten back to normal out here tonight. What we believe to be bullet holes from last night have been patched up and painted over. Live on the Strip, David Schumann, Channel 13 Action News. that closed down parts of the strip for several hours. We now know both the identity of the suspect and the Metro officer who fired his weapon. Action News reporter David Schumann is live in front of the Bellagio with more on the suspect tonight. David. This is a picture of the suspect who was taken into custody. His name is Khalil Black. He's 20 years old, and even though we'd heard he was a regular street performer or artist of some kind, none of the locals who spend time out here seem to know who he is. Khalil Black is accused of waving a gun and pointing it at a crowd of people in front of the Bellagio. Metro officers had told him to drop his weapon. He didn't listen. That's when Officer George Smith fired shots at the man who was supposedly a regular face here. But other regulars couldn't tell us anything about him. Do you recognize this man? His name's Khalil Black. I can't say I recognize him, but he does look a little familiar. I have not seen him. I've been doing this for quite a few years, um, but I can't say that I recognize specifically this guy. Black wasn't hit. Smith's shots grazed two pedestrians, one of whom was a child. They both are out of the hospital. Black will make his first court appearance Wednesday morning. Officer Smith has been placed on routine paid leave while the incident is investigated. Live on the Strip, David Schumann, Channel 13 Action News. Okay, Parker, thank you. Ahead today, this morning, Metro police officers will answer questions about an officer involved shooting on the strip. Khalil Black is in custody for allegedly waving a gun in front of the Bellagio Friday. Officer George Smith shot at Black, claiming Black wouldn't obey commands to drop his weapon. Smith's shots missed. Two pedestrians, though, including a child, were grazed. Both of them are okay. Smith right now is on paid routine leave while the incident is being investigated. Black is expected in court tomorrow. Metro scheduled a press conference this morning to address that shooting. Metro Police in mourning. This is the procession outside of Sunrise Hospital this morning, carrying the body of Officer Trung Tai. The 49-year-old was shot and killed on duty early this morning. Officer Tai served with Metro Police for 23 years. Right now, the intersection where that shooting happened, it is still shut down. The man accused of shooting Officer Tai is under arrest, and Metro Police are grappling with the second officer to die in the line of duty this year. This morning's incident happened after a domestic disturbance near Flamingo and University. Officers were responding, and they say 24-year-old Tyson Hampton was tracked down not far away after that initial shooting, a little bit far away from that at Desert Inn and Eastern. This afternoon, we have team coverage of this. Victoria Saha is near the shooting scene. We're going to start, though, with Candace uh, Charles, who is at Metro headquarters. Candace, good morning. Yeah, just before 7 this morning here at Metro Police headquarters, Sheriff Joe Lombardo announced the unfortunate news that 49-year-old Officer Trung Tai had been shot and killed. The suspect arrested in the officer-involved shooting outside of the Bellagio over the weekend is wheeled into court this morning. Barefoot and tied down, he went before the judge for a bail hearing. Action News reporter Parker Collins explains how the judge shocked everyone. And I'll ask that you go over it uh, with him. Uh... No shoes, bound, gagged, and moaning the whole time. This is how the entire hearing went. Attorneys barely able to hear the judge. Uh, Mr. Black, you are lucky to be alive today. This surveillance footage made him infamous, where you can see someone wandering the strip in and out of traffic, pointing a gun in tourist faces. Trying to take Black in, 
police fired several shots, even hitting a child. Khalil's brothers paint him in a very different light. He's not violent at all. He's a big teddy bear, man. He's a huge teddy bear, man. The judge more than doubled what the prosecution was asking for bail, making sure there was no way he'd get out at $2 million. He's sick in his brain right now, so I just don't want him to, people to look at him as a criminal because he's, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's a really nice guy. He just had a mental breakdown, man. His brothers say Khalil is mentally ill, and he's had brushes with the law before. This time, they think might have been Khalil's last-ditch effort to end everything. They say he left them a note, leaving his things to the poor, and saying he'd see them again someday. Yeah, I'm scared for him. I don't know if you guys seen him in there, but he was in there. Uh, clearly, he's going through a mental illness condition, and, you know, me and my brother, we're all he has right now. His family hurts seeing Khalil like this. They just want him to get help. At the Regional Justice Center, Parker Collins, Channel 13 Action News. A contact 13. Oh, yeah, fool, you do it through the game. You do it through the game. That's how you stream through the game, not the camera. Okay, so where is he now? What is what is Khalil Black on now? What is he doing now? What is what is he doing and where is he going? Khalil Black, a friendly person who devotes his time to friends and family. He was 17 years old and searching for ways to make income. Walmart and other jobs she applied to required him to be 18 years of age to become an employee. He ran across the network marketing industry online from social media. He joined a few different companies and got to work. MCA, Wake Up Now, Vima, and Infinity Downline. He gained support from his persistent effort to reach his goal. He branded the support given to him from the people calling his journey the 100K Movement. Being stirred away from his goal and getting in the streets, he began making a living otherwise. At the age of 19, he was hit with a $2 million bill due to mental health. He lost his brother, Elliot Black, while incarcerated. His brother, Elliot Black, experienced death. Probation and other parties left him working a 9-to-5 job. Taking mental health medication as a condition of a three-year probation left him zombied out and sedated. Once he was free to be sober-minded and live a regular life, withdrawals from being continuously sedated over three years left him in a mental health trap to be locked behind bars again. Competing probation and taking medication again for only a year this time, he succeeded to get his freedom back for the second time making a final decision to be responsible for his own future, he completely went legal in his financial ventures. Determined not to be another statistic in the same 40-year retirement plan as the rest of the world, working a nine-to-five job, he spent money and invested in himself to be independent in the network marketing world. He chose YouTube and network marketing as ventures to be successful. He made sure to be 100K for real. No matter what, he started to respect his passion and made sure to give thanks to Jesus. The 100K movement linked up with National Wealth Center, an affiliate program. He called it mobile real estate. He developed a passion for clothes and knew he needed to put God first in everything. He started a mental health campaign and a felony forgiveness campaign and started to spread the word, the word. He said he, and he started to spread God's word. Being born into sin, knowing that he, Knowing that he was born into sin, he knew that he had to get right, so he got baptized. Khalil Black believes that his testimony may help, may help others that are stuck in their past life. Khalil says that he's all in with TOV, taking over Vegas. When you meet him, expect him to say this. My name is Khalil Black. The Honey Cater Movement is my business. I'm selling clothes that provide a loud impact to the community to encourage people to be more active. 
are designed to promote mental health awareness, social skills, felony forgiveness, and last but not least, we have a whole section just for people who want to stop sinning, where we will put Bible verses on our clothes free of charge. Learn more on how to become, actually, learn more on how to receive an item and become an affiliate. I'm also making a movie on how I'm going to make 100000 a month or what will happen after a year of consistent grinding. I'm also making another movie called Twain and Swenson. It seems like everyone who came to Vegas passed by those streets. All I do is post videos on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and network all around Vegas. I'm having them subscribe to my channel, follow me on social. Then I follow up with everyone to see what they do for a living and tell them what I do for a living. Then I get to work. I have them purchase items and join the team. My target market is real go-getters and hustlers. Anyone who has a entrepreneur mindset. My target market is, but not limited to, all of Vegas. I call it Operation T-O-V. The 702 area code belongs to me while I'm here. Again, my target market is everywhere. Subject but not limited to colleges, churches, small businesses, malls, clothing stores, food joints, gyms, pop-up shops, etc. The whole nine yards. Students, employees, you never know what someone's doing, doing on the side of work. Barbers, tattoo artists, nail techs, shoe cleaners, chefs, anyone who gains commission. On top of their salary. So, if you're a seller, it doesn't matter what you sell. It can be plants, food, or you can dance for a living. If you sell something, I want you on the team. If you're a seller, I want you on the team. 100K to move.